crochet rows. I used an H hook for this. I used some scrap yarn, which I believe is uh, a four weight that I had left over from another project. I've also made one with an F hook. I wanted to make one a little bit smaller. This is what it looks like before you roll it up. Very simple, just three rounds, three rows, and then you just roll it up and you have your rows and then you sew in the ends, which I'll show you at the end of the video how to do that. So this is the H hook and this is the F hook. And you can see the difference. I'm just a little bit smaller. So I actually got this particular pattern from a flyer I picked up at Hobby Lobby on how to make a scrubby. And this is a scrubby for um, doing dishes or in the shower. And here is the scrubby that I made. And I'll do another video on how to make this. But this is the pattern that I used. And the yarn is Red Heart Scrubby Sparkle. Comes in a variety of colors. This is a little bit harder to see. I wouldn't do this as a beginner, but you, you still could. I wouldn't make it as a first project. It, it is hard to see the stitches. So I'll do, make this in another video, but I wanted to go ahead and do the rows with the regular uh, crochet yarn and show you how to do that. So you can do this one first, and once you see how to do this one, then it'll be a lot easier on how to do that one if you are a beginner. All right, let's get started. Okay, I did my slip knot, and let me take that out and show you how to do that. I wrap it around two fingers, and I cross underneath, come around to the back, go under the first yarn, grab the second yarn, and pull it up. And then I just grab the tail here and the other piece and I just pull it tight. And now we're going to chain 36 to start the project. Three, and I'll speed this up. Four, five, I'm just doing this to show you how to chain if you've forgotten and I'm going to chain 36 and we'll come back all right I've done the 36 chains uh, please count your stitches at least twice make sure you have the right number so it doesn't throw off your pattern and we are going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook so that's one, two, and three. So we're going to double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, go into the third chain from the hook, pull up the yarn, and double crochet. Now we are going to skip two chains, and that's one, two, and we're going to double crochet in the next chain. And now we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to double crochet into that same chain. Go through two and go through two. All right. So we have our chain two space here, which we're going to be working in on our row coming back. All right, so now we're going to skip two again so you don't count the one that you're in. You go one, two, and go into the third one. Do another double crochet. And chain two. And then do another double crochet into the same chain.
All right, so you're going to continue this pattern. I'm going to do one more. Skip two, go into the next chain, and do another double crochet. Chain two, and do another double crochet right into the same space that you did your other double crochet. Now we're gonna do this all the way down to the end and I'm going to do the last piece of the pattern at the very end with you. And I'll be back at that point to show you how we do the last one and then how we turn and go back the other direction with a, a different, a slightly different pattern. Okay, right, we've come down to the end and we have one more part of that pattern to finish up. I just wanna make sure that you had three chains left at the end and we go in the very last chain because we're skipping two and going into the last chain to do our double crochet. And then we chain two and we go do our last double crochet right into that same last chain. All right, so there it is, all the way across to the end. Now you chain two and turn your work. So we chain two and turn your work. And we're gonna come back this way now. And the first thing you're going to do is a double crochet into your chain two space. So this is your chain two space. We do a double crochet and now we're going to chain two and we're going to do a double crochet in that same chain two space all right and now we're going to go into the next chain two space, which is this one right here, and we're gonna do that same pattern again. We're gonna do a double crochet, a chain two, and a double crochet. So here's the double crochet, and a chain two, and a double crochet in that same space. This is round two. We're coming back. So we're going to continue that pattern in the chain two spaces. And I'll meet you at the very last one. We'll do the last one together and turn our work to do the last row. All right, we're almost to the end of round two. You should be at this point and our very last piece of the pattern will be in this chain two that we did when we came around and turned our work. So we're gonna do our double crochet, same pattern. Doing a double crochet. Chain two. Let me move up here. Chain two. And then double crochet right back into that corner chain two. And now that we've come to the end of round two, well, it's giving me a hard time, isn't it? Okay. Now we're going to chain two at the end and turn our work. So we'll chain two and turn our work. Now this is round three, this is the last round and then we'll weave in the ends. So right in this chain two space here, we're going to do five double crochets. So this is one, two, three, four, 
four and five. All right, now we are going to go into our next chain two space and we're going to do six double crochets. And then we will go into the next chain two space and do six double crochets. And I'll meet you down at the very last spot and we'll finish off and weave in the ends. All right, I've finished round three. And we've come down to the end and our chain two when we turned is our last spot to do our six double crochets. One, two, sorry about that. This is two, and three, I'm trying to hold the camera right, and do this. Okay, this is three, and this is four, five, And six. And now this is where we have finally finished the whole pattern. And we're going to roll it up into the row shape. But first, you need to pull out your yarn. And I'm going to snip it here. And we're going to weave in the ends. As after we roll it up and we'll show you how to do that okay so I've snipped off the end and I'm just gonna pull my yarn through just pull that tail all the way through pull that end through here Just tighten it up, pull it tight, and now we're going to <clears throat> start at this end and we're just going to roll. Roll it into a pretty little rose. Okay. Now I do this, there's no particular way to sew this in, but I'm just going to weave in and out through the bottom here and let me get this threaded and then I'll come right back. Okay, I've got a blunt needle here with a wide eye and I'm not tying it. You can do that if you prefer, if you wanna uh, tie this tight on the end, but I'm just going to run it through. And what I've done is put my finger towards the middle so I could make sure that I catch all of the yarn as I'm sewing it together. And I'm just gonna go right in here and try to grab up the yarn in the middle so it won't come loose. Just going through all the layers. Okay, and just coming through and just pulling that nice and tight. And then I'm gonna come back through. Try to get through all the layers and come back through again. Okay, you can sew this up so it's tight. I'm gonna leave this one a little bit loose at the bottom, a little bit open. 
go back through again. Now we're back towards the middle, going down, grabbing those other layers and coming up through. We're gonna go down on this side, grab all those layers, come through. Okay, I'm even going to catch a little bit of the end here. This piece, just gonna go right in here, grab the layers again, and go through. Okay. And now I'm just going to go back through here one more time. And now I'm going to finish this off by just going through this point here, pull it up, and as this loop comes up, I'm going to put the needle right through that loop, pull it tight, and I'm going to do it one more time to make it secure. And then I will cut this piece off right here. And then with this other piece of yarn, just do the same thing. Just weave it in and out, make it secure like you did this one and then you will trim it right close to the edge. And I'll come back and finish that off. Okay, I cut out, I cut the other trailing yarn and this is the other one that I just weaved in and out. And I'm just trimming that off after I got that nice and tight. And there's your rose. Okay, and again, this was with the F hook, and this was with the H. You can see it's a little bit smaller. All right, happy crocheting. Don't forget, the next video will be how to make a rose scrubby, which you can use for your dishes or in the shower. So stay tuned.